Hey there, Josh and Jake. Uh, Eric from Chicago here. I'm um, calling about the Hawkeyes. Let's go Hawks, baby. Uh, so, obviously, we just fired a bunch of our coaches. Atrocious offensive seasons the last few years. Um, what path do you feel that the Hawkeyes should take? Like, do we just hire from within the Kirk Ferentz coaching tree? Or do we go out and find someone else who could maybe, like, change the culture up a little bit when the offense, like, Pass the ball to wide receivers, not run at every play. Like, there's just so many questions out there, and I'd love to hear you guys' input. Pass the ball to wide receivers. Hang on now, Eric. Hang on. Now. <laughs> Get ahead of ourselves here. What are you talking about? What do you, what do you think, JP? I know you love the Hawkeyes offense. Well, first off, they, if they want to throw it to wide receivers, they should get some guys on roster <laughs> who can actually catch the football with some consistency. Like, I think that's a part of the problem with the Iowa offense there. And I know that, uh, you know, uh, Brian Ferentz was the easy punching bag, and he should have been because he certainly was not great as an offensive coordinator. But as you start to look at the inputs, there were times where they went empty formation and they were trying to air the ball out. And those guys that hit them right in their hands and they mm. wouldn't catch it. Um, for me, I think that they should keep the DNA of who they are. And we saw a team in Michigan who could be very successful as a run emphasis team. And I think that's what Iowa is in the way that they've been constructed and the way that they've recruited. With that being said, it feels like Paul Christ is a guy yep. that would make a ton of sense in that role. He is an offensive mind. He's got plenty of experience coaching in the Big Ten. I actually like what his offenses did in terms of being able to use the pass, play action. They used to go out of uh, spread formations mm -hmm. a little bit more than what we're used to seeing from Iowa. It changes up the run identity a little bit going from a zone emphasis offense to some gap schemes, which I think can be more effective in terms of manipulating eyes of linebackers when they're trying to get into run fits. I think it keeps a level of continuity while bringing the offense to a different point of life with somebody who can actually call plays. You bring up a good point. So zone scheme versus gap scheme. It's real subtle. Iowa is a big time zone scheme. What they used to love the cut block. Kirk mm -hmm. Ferentz loves the cut block. That's been outlawed effectively. So you can't cut block anymore. It, it makes zone schemes a little bit harder, at least in terms of what Iowa wants to do. So that's actually a great point. I would just say this. Be careful what you wish for. Nebraska fans once said, hey, we want better than Bo Pelini. And what did that? That went to some real dark, dark times. I'm not saying that you can't push for better offense. You saw the stats. Last, last, 12th, 11th, bottom of the Big Ten across the board. But I, you have to know yourself. That's yep. a Socrates quote that's centuries, centuries old. You know, I was going to win games by playing defense mm -hmm. and controlling the football. Mm -hmm. I don't think that they chase having a top 10 offense in, in risk going three and out like the name of our segment here. You got to know, know thyself. I like the idea of Paul Chris because it fits into that mold. Modernize the offense yep. a little bit, but don't give up too much because it is, is a little bit risky. They shouldn't gamble, right? Like, I don't Do think that gamble. their offensive identity should be in gambling and taking a bunch of shots and risks. I think that it should be in being efficient and yeah. staying on the field and in, in executing a, a competent offense, but you can do that with the pro-style emphasis, yeah. and that's who they are. Look, we, we say we're an interactive show. We promise we're an interactive show. We deliver as well. Eric, you are our submission winner of the day, so our social team will be in contact with you shortly. Keep an eye out for your prize, and for those of you, keep submitting the content because you do have a chance to win prizes with us.